Hey Brawlers, welcome back to part two of our Brawler Game Pack unboxing. Brawl like a master. This is what it looks like in the set. We already tore ours out of the set. And if you watched last episode, uh, we reviewed all the cards. This time we're going to talk about the Bakugan that come inside. Here's my son's box that he had to get into this thing, tore open. So let's start with the Bakugan that comes with this Brawler Game Pack. By the way, this is by far the best value in the new Bakugan, uh, the Gundalian Invaders. Uh, the packs only cost $19.99, and otherwise, if you buy these new guys, they are $4.99 in the store. You want to unfold his legs. There's a little bit of unfolding to do on him. Unfold his legs and unfold his paws. So he's a wolf-like creature. This is the Aquas version that is included inside uh, of this pack. And his G power is a... 730. So he is a 730G, so he's pretty powerful. We haven't seen a lot of powerful Aquas guys before. One of the underloved uh, attributes some people feel, but um, he is a 730. Now, his tail is in the folded back position right now to, uh, to allow for the battle gear, the new traps with the printed G powers, to be able to bolt onto him. Uh, there's a magnetic in the top of this Bakugan as well as the bottom of the battle gear that uh, allows it to pop open on the back of the new Gundalian Invaders Bakugan. So his tail actually, it's a fluffy, bushy tail. Uh, he's a wolf-like creature, so his tail can go uh, up or it could be down. You can actually push it and adjust it so it can stick up however you want to have it, however it looks cool, but it does look cool with this fluffy tail up. So uh, he's the first guy that's included. Why don't, why don't we uh, roll everyone else, out, everyone else out and see? So next up, we've got uh, the Chaos uh, Clausaurus. So there he is. There we have a stand. He is awesome. Definitely my favorite Super Assault Bakugan, other than the Quakes. And we're going to unbox one of those. But uh, just the level of detail that Spin Master put into these new Bakugan. I mean, with his little claws, they're spring-loaded in here. I mean, how does this thing close into a ball? I know how, but I'm just amazed that they can put everything together. The detail, you can see the new trim colors, the gold and yellow. I mean, the yellow and kind of orange. It used to be gold um, on Hale, so I kind of like the gold better, but... Uh, it still looks cool. You can see the D new DNA code. It's covered up. That's the way these come. Uh, it's a one-time use code. Don't share it with any of your friends. You can battle online, but he is very, very awesome looking. We don't know if he can accommodate battle gear uh, yet, if he's compatible or not. We're going to have to maybe wait for the rules clarification, but uh, he is a 740G, so he's 10G higher than the darkest that we reviewed last time we opened up one of these packs. Now, you can buy this guy separately in the stores. And uh, this is what the package looks like. So you can see his monster form. He's kind of a, a like an arachnoid spider type figure there with his claw coming out. Again, the house is 10 more powerful um, than the darkest, but uh, his claw does strike. It's actually they call this series the Baku Vice Super Assault. But these are $7.99 by themselves. So if you buy the $19.99 Brawler Game Pack, you're saving a lot of money because you get one of these for $8 and you get two of the gears. That are normally eight dollars, so that's sixteen plus this eight twenty-four plus the two Bakugan in there. It's a thirty-four dollar value to pick up one of these Brawler game packs. So you want to get this. This is your best value in traps, weaponry, uh, Gundalian Invader style. So, okay, who, who do we have next? All right, so next we have a Pyrus Helix Dragonoid. This is the new evolution of Dragonoid. He's got his little horn that comes out as usual, right on the top there kind of holding the camera with one hand there and working with the other, but he's got his little floppy little arms here that stick out uh, in the front. And looks like he is a 600G, so this is a Gundalian Bakugan that you could use with the new evolution rules on the Quake uh, Dragonoids, which we're going to review one of those here pretty soon. Uh, could you unfold his legs, son? Make his horn out, make his arms out forward so we can get a look at him. All right, get a closer look at this guy. So you can see some of the detail on him. Um, the new evolution of Dragonoid, Helix Dragonoid. He's on most of the packaging. And you can see the little pegs on the back there to accommodate on his body, actually, to accommodate the battle gear, the new traps with printed G-Power. You don't have to have the pegs on there. You can operate the gear right on the card, but um, that's what he looks like. Now, these wings here in the back will open up and fold back so that it can accommodate some of the larger gear, and we're going to show you that gear, the two that come with this pack right now. So those are the three Bakugan. Let's take a look at the battle gear that came. 
Let me take a look before you open it up. So before we open it up, we can look at this one. We can see that it's bronze or copper. This is actually called the jet core gear, and you can see that squiggly line symbol for bronze or copper. Um, this should also come in silver and in gold, but this is the bronze copper version. So let's open them up on one of these uh, Bakugan. Why don't we fold down this uh, Drago, his back wings, and see what that one looks like. All right. So there he is. That's the one that's on the cover too. Awesome. Jet Core is this battle gear. Cool. Let's take a look at the next one. Set him down. Take a look at the next one. Who are you going to operate this one on? Let's let's put this on uh, on Lumigral, the Aquos Lumigral. So this is the Vylantor gear. And let me see it before you open it. This Vylantor gear is actually silver. You know, the metallic paint on these will give it away as far as which one it is. So this is the silver version of the Vylantor gear. Again, look how complex and complicated. I just love these toys. They're just absolutely amazing. It's combining Transformers, robots, Bakugan, weapons, missiles, all the stuff that... Uh, that boys like and that, that big boys like me like. So there's a symbol there for the silver. Um, so let's open up this Vylantor gear. So you can open it up on the card or you can open it up on the back of the Bakugan. If you open it up on the back of the Bakugan, there is a couple little pegs that you need to open um, for it to open up on the back. Unfold those pegs there. I'm going to go ahead and stick it, stick it down there on, uh, on Lumigral. All right, so there is the silver Vylantor gear. If you use this gear um, on a silver card, you can use it with any attribute Bakugan. If not, you can only use it with the abilities specific to the card. Same thing with the jet cord. Do you have those reference cards I could look at? So here again, we have a picture of the jet core. Now, since we're using Pyrus, we can use the ability of flipping two coins and adding ADG power for each heads. Um, so we're eligible. But even if we weren't using Pyrus, as long as we use this gear, which is copper or bronze, as long as we use it and open it up, you can open it up directly on the Bakugan or directly on the gate card, then we can use one of these abilities no matter what attribute we are. So that's kind of how these work. And what is the G power of this one? Can we look at the G? J60? Um, he is... A 60G air core. All right. I mean, jet core. Jet core. Okay, so there's a 60G jet core. And the Vylantor gear, we've seen this one in copper bronze. Um, you can actually buy these in the package now. But again, these ones in the package are $7.99. They actually come with this cool little flip thing that shows you what it looks like closed and open, unleashing the power of it on the Bakugan. Little slide film on these new battle gear. But uh, you can see this one inside the package still, and uh, if I get the lighting right here, this one is, you can see the bronze, bronze or copper there, and uh, again on this one you can see all the silver, so if you don't learn the symbols right away, just look at the painted accent color on your gear to know which color it is and which gate card you want to use it on, unless you have a matching attribute bonus, uh, matching attribute uh, Bakugan that matches the abil the uh, re battle reference card, then you're okay, but otherwise, play this on a silver card and you can use it no matter what, any of the special abilities at the bottom of it. So, same thing with the Volantor gear, uh, have to be Darkus or Aquos to use those cool abilities, especially the one that allows you to swap out the gate card, kind of a Venice effect, uh, but you have to be Aquos, or you just have to make sure your Volantor gear is the same color as the gate card you want to operate it on. So, Again, silver Vylantor, copper, there's the squiggly symbol up close, copper bronze, and <clears throat> there it is again. This one here, show you the silver, that's the silver one, looks like a triangle, and the last one is actually gold, and gold, if I have one around here, do I have any gold gear? We can just grab this guy here. So there's Gold Gear. This is a twin destructor. We didn't talk about him, but he's one of the other gears that's out there. And that's the symbol for gold. And again, it's going to have gold highlights. All right, well, that wraps up this one. 
Stay tuned for more Gundalian coming soon. Thanks. <laughs>